Okay guys, so part two of your legs, bums and tums, the tums bit. So for the purpose of filming, we're going grey side of the mat up just before anybody tells me off for having it the wrong way. So we're gonna start on your back, bring yourself down. I wanna get the knees bent, your heels are on the floor, not too close to your bum for this part. We're gonna start with a crunch. Now you have the option, your hands can either be on your thighs or by the head. We're gonna do an abdominal crunch. So you think when you're coming up, guys, instead of just throwing yourself into it, squeeze from here. So you're bringing your hip bone and rib cage as close as you can together. Getting that squeeze into it. Keeping the chin away from the chest, so the neck's long. And then just a natural, steady breathing pattern. We're gonna do four more. The last two. Good, and then guys, from there, just bring your feet up, so the knees are over your hips. We're gonna go across bicycle crunches, side to side. Now, if coordination-wise that feels a little bit too much, you have the option to keep your legs stiff and just focus on the top part. But where possible, try and extend the opposite leg away. So again, as you're coming up, you're still trying to get that squeeze from the centre. You're bringing your shoulder and elbow towards the opposite knee. If we can, a little bit more challenging, try and keep your shoulders lifted off the mat throughout. Let's have another five, four, three, two, done. Have a little breather if you need to, otherwise we're going straight back in, into your crunches again. So remember, you have the option, either hands here or hands by the head. I would say, if, if you can, fingertips at the temple, because if you have them behind, you get tempted to drag the head up, which we really don't want. We don't want any stress on the neck. So, chin off the chest, just control, nice steady breathing. Last four, three, two, and release, well done. Big feet come up, we're gonna go across. So, bicycle crunches, side to side. You're extending the opposite leg away. Nice big straight extension out. Keeping the shoulders lifted, we're getting that turn side to side. Again, breathing, control, steady. We're going to last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rest it there, well done. If you need a quick stretch out, extend the arms and legs, lengthen through the body, and then we're going to turn onto your side. So, you're going to face me, side plank. Now, elbow is going to make go directly under your shoulder. Careful with this, because if it's too high, you're going to put a lot of stress on your shoulder. So, get yourself comfortable. Level one, your feet will go behind, your knees are in line with the hip. You're going to hold here. Level two, straight legs. We lift, we extend. So, choose your position. We're going to hold for 30 seconds to start us off. So, keeping this Shoulder over the elbow, this arm's extended. Your hips are forward, tummy muscles pulling in all the time. You've got another 15 seconds to go. You can always alter, guys, and go either upper level or down if you feel it's too easy or too hard. Last four, three, two. Rest it there, well done. Good, we're gonna swap sides. So, bring yourself over the other way. So again, elbow directly under your shoulder. Level two, you go straight legs. Level one, knees bent. You decide which way you're working. I'll work level one this time so you can see. So extend the top arm. Tummy muscles pulling in. Just be cautious that you don't start to roll back. So you've got to make sure that your hips are directly to the front. Body should be long, streamlined. Again, no sinking down. So the minute you start to feel yourself dipping, push them hips up, keep that arm lifted. 10 seconds to go. Good, last four, three, two, and release, well done. Okay guys, we're gonna to come to sitting for the next one. So, center your mat, just relax your shoulders. Think your tailbone is looking downwards. Crown of the head lifts up, and take the arms out in front. I want you to engage from the middle, so by that we mean just pull your navel towards the back, as if you've tightened the belt around the center. Breathing naturally, lean back forward. You're leaning to the point where you feel the core kick in, so it has to work that bit harder, but your back is supported. We're gonna do a bow and arrow. So you're keeping your back in the same position, 
you're just opening through one arm, pulling back straight ahead. You keep these going for me, so from the side of you, like I say, tension point. You may find that you can't go quite that far back, so you're maybe only an inch back. Go to where you can, always pulling in from the middle. Nice, steady pull. Last four, three, two. Now we're going to hold in the centre. Keeping the arms nice and long. You have the option, guys, of lifting your feet, level two. If that feels too much, or the back hurts, then you take your feet down. Level three, arms extended to take your pick. You've got 15 seconds left. So decide whether you want the arms here, here, your feet down, up to you. That's five, four, three, two. Release it off, well done. We're gonna go onto your back again, so. Bring yourself around. Release down. Now this time we're going to go two exercises back to back. So reverse curls. Bring your knees tight into the chest. Tailbone lifted. Legs extending out. And then we're going to go feet to the floor. Hands by the head if we can. Full sit ups. So we're going to do 30 seconds of each one. So reverse curls. Your hands, if you prefer, can be under your lower back, top of your bum. Otherwise, anywhere comfortable. Let's go. So knees to the chest, extend the legs away. You are relaxing those shoulders as you move. You don't want the head lifted, so try and keep that on the floor. The lower you extend the legs, the more challenging you're making it. So if you just feel you need a bit more support on the back, as you extend, just take the legs a little bit higher. That's all we need to do. But make sure you're still pulling in from the center all the time. Last three, two, well done. Okay, feet come down to the floor, hands by the head, full sit up. Now you may find, guys, with these ones, that you need your feet slightly further away than you do on a standard crunch. We're going to try and keep the hands by the head if we can, as opposed to getting a pulling action. So you've got 30 seconds of these ones again on the way up, squeeze. Crunch from the middle where possible. That's five, four, three, two, you're done. Okay, back to the beginning. We're gonna do the same again. Reverse curls. One more time through each. So knees into the chest. What you'll find is a lot of people start doing that way. You don't need to extend your legs up. You want that control. Knees to chest, then extend. Only need to straighten out on the way downwards. We check the watch. Last four, three, two. Well done. Okay, feet to the floor. Last time with these ones. So full sit ups. Again, you decide where we need to position your feet. All the way up. Same as we said on a standard crunch, we're trying to keep the chin off the chest. So the next one, your breathing is nice and steady. We're not holding the breath. You've got 10 seconds to. Just as many as you get in in that time. Last four, three, two, and have a breather. Well done. Grab yourself a quick drink if you need it. Okay, guys, so we're going to go over what we've just done, back onto a side plank. So the first side you've started on, this time we're going for longer. So your elbow is going to be under your shoulder. Again, level one, feet back, level two, straight legs. Get your lift, extend your arm. 45 seconds we're here for now. It's a little bit more challenging. If this still feels too easy and you've got a good control, we can try extending the legs. But as soon as that leg lifts, if you find you're rocking back or you're sinking, we've gone too far, so feet together. Don't run before you can walk. Make sure you've got a perfect technique on one level. You've got 15 seconds to go, guys. Anyone's got any shoulder issues at all? If this feels a bit too much, like I say, just go to level one, be on the knees. It's still going to work around the core. Last five, four, three, two. Well done. Okay, bring it down. Let's change over. So, elbow directly. Oh, move my Elbow under the shoulder. Again, you take your pick, whether you're level one or two. Extend. Hold. If that feels too easy, you can always swap your position. Your important bits of this, just to remember though, is the body is long, always pulling in, and you're breathing. As with anything, 
Everybody always forgets to breathe, so make sure it's a natural, steady breath. You've done 20 seconds. If you find that one side is a little bit wobbly, guys, you can always just stagger the foot if you need to, but only if you have to. We're nearly there. Last six, five, four, three, two, let it go, well done. Okay, back to seated. So again, tailbone down, crown of the head up. Now you have the option to either just use your own body resistance with this one on a twist, or if you've got any dumbbells or water bottles or anything you want to hold to add a bit of resistance, you can grab hold of those. We're going to pull in from the middle, again lean back to tension point where the back's comfortable but the core's working, and then we twist, going from side to side. Imagine you're drawing a rainbow across, keeping the arms long, the closer the weight is towards you, the easier you're making it. So we're trying to get the length of the arms. Level two, you can just add lift with those legs. Again, if it feels too much and your back's saying mm, not comfortable, feet can stay down. Keep pulling in. You've got another 15 seconds to go. Good. Nice big twist all the way to the floor. Last five, four, three, two. Rest it there, well done. Okay, last one's onto the back. We're gonna go again, all the way to the floor. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Now we're doing a straight leg lift. So same movement as the reverse curl where the tailbone lifts. Legs are straight, hands anywhere comfortable. We get the lift of the tailbone, low up to the floor. So think pulling from the middle. Slight lifts if you're pushing your heels towards the ceiling, but it comes from the center. On the way down, everybody's range will be different with this one. So you come as low as it feels comfortable with your legs. That may be only halfway down. You listen to your body, you know what's comfortable, what you can manage. We're gonna do the last few more. And then we're gonna change from this one to a toe tap. So, legs straight, we're lifting. You're trying to get towards those toes. Big crunch up. Now you're gonna make sure with this one that you're not Taking the arms back and getting a bit of swing. We don't want to swing. We just want to crunch from the centre. Last five, four, three, two. Well done. Okay, last time with each one. So back into your straight leg lifts. Again, you have the option of putting the hands under your lower back. If that's not good for you, have them at the side, have them behind the head, whatever works. Last few more to go, as low as you can. Keeping that connection from the middle. Last three, two, well done. All right, legs straight, again. 10 touches, we're gonna do 10 of these. Last five. Two more guys. And all done, good work. Now just hook the knees into the chest. Have a little roll side to side, just massage the lower back. And you can grab a drink and have a rest, well done.